I learned my first programming language at the age of 12, and that was C++. Now, I tried it for a while, and I hated the experience. It was simply too difficult for me to handle. So, I put programming aside for two years, and again at 14, I started learning again. This time I learned JavaScript, and I loved it, because JavaScript was so much simpler and easier, and I really liked the experience of using it. So at this point, I use JavaScript every day and I learn new things. And I used JavaScript for a couple of years and even got hired at a job. And I always told people to not learn C++, but that was a mistake. In this video, I want to talk to you about a mindset shift that changed my software engineering career. And hopefully I'm going to share some of the mistakes that I made along the way so you can learn from them. So I was working at this company writing JavaScript and I was happy doing my job. And one day this project came up that needed C++. And I wasn't happy, but I took responsibility. And I said, okay, I'm gonna learn C++ again and give it another try. So I learned C++ for a second time and I loved it. This time I really enjoyed using it and learning it. And I was wondering, how has this happened? I told many people for so long to not learn C++, but here I am, I'm learning C++, I'm using it, and I'm enjoying it. So what happened is, C++ is a low-level language compared to JavaScript. Um, so if C++ is here, JavaScript is here. Now, there's a space between these two languages, right? And I want to explain to you what fills the gap between these two spaces. So I want to introduce you to a concept called black box or the black box method. Now, I watched a video two years ago on this and I was introduced to this concept. And um, what a black box is, is very simple. So when you're programming, you're using all of these libraries and utils and all of these functions, right? Now, in order to use this function, you need to know the inputs and you need to know the outputs. Now, you don't know what happens inside, but you know what this function does. And in order to use it, that's the only information that you need. Now, I was introduced to this concept in the video that I mentioned, and in that video, the guy talks about how you can implement uh, this function or use it in your code without even understanding what it does. So now, what do you think fills the gap between C++ and JavaScript? Of course, black boxes. Now, the space between these two languages is filled with many, many different black boxes that you don't understand. And you don't need to because you can use JavaScript and abstract some of that complexity away to, to get the results that you want to get. So in the video that I mentioned, the guy basically says, in short, blindly copying and pasting code is okay for most of the time. I disagree with this statement. Now, I've seen a few great developers in my lifetime, and I know all of them have one thing in common, and that is a deep understanding of how things work. That's how engineering gets done. So let's say you use a lot of libraries in your code. Maybe you have a JavaScript project and you install a lot of different libraries to make things work. Yes, you get the thing to work, but most of the time it's slow. So performance is something that JavaScript developers rarely think about, but it's very important. If you're building complex applications, performance is one of the most important things. And to understand performance, you need to understand what's happening inside the black boxes. So my advice is look into black boxes, understand how they work. You can at first use the black box and get the result that you want. But the next step after that is understanding how it does it. And that's simply how you become a good engineer. If you try to ask yourself, how can I become a better engineer? This is the answer by expanding your knowledge, expanding your understanding of how things work. You know, for a long time, I feared learning difficult things, and that just limited my ability to grow as a software engineer. So if you want to become better, you can hopefully avoid this mistake. And I hear a lot of people say, oh, JavaScript has a much nicer developer experience. That's the term those people use, and myself included, I, I use that term a lot. Oh, I just care about the final result. Uh, I, I don't care about what's happening under the hood. And while the final result is important, while the developer experience is important, you should understand that to, to learn the good stuff, you need to learn some difficult things. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit hard to do that. And that's only going to help you 
become better as a developer. You know, if you tell a good developer that JavaScript has a nicer developer experience or user experience, uh, he's going to look at you weird because that makes no sense. Um, when you want to build amazing products, uh, the developer experience is important, but of course, uh, what you want is the ability to create things that other people cannot create. And so to be able to get to that point, you need to expand your knowledge. You need to look into black boxes. And there's a set of actionable steps that you can implement today that I think will really help you. The first one is when you want to copy and paste code, understand what it does. Search Google, do whatever you need to do understand what the code does and then paste it. The second thing is you use a lot of libraries like me. Uh, if you're using JavaScript, try to once in a while look into what the code of that library looks like and what it's doing, uh, you know, under the hood. I think that's going to help you immensely. For example, I use 3JS a lot. I look into the different classes of 3JS and I understand how the programmers that I respect write code. That's, that's a great practice that you can implement today. And the third thing is learn C++, learn Rust. These programming languages are a bit harder than JavaScript, but once you have that basic understanding of how JavaScript works and how memory works in JavaScript, you can get into these languages and expand your knowledge and become a better programmer. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in this type of content. I really enjoyed making this video and I really hope it helps you. So with that, I'll see you in the next videos.